We might not be able to go out to eat, but that doesn't mean we can't create a restaurant experience at home. Don't forget to note oh, you. that you're eating on our fine china for the very first time ever. First time, it's definitely the first time. I remember Thomas, having this it's one. It's definitely the first time. Okay. If I'm creating this restaurant experience at home, I'm going big. So we are going to do a fancy yeah, yeah. dinner at home. Thankfully, you at home have given me a great idea on what I should cook. I've gotten several requests for Beef Wellington. And thank you especially to Rebecca, Vanessa, and Maria, who have all given me this great suggestion as a challenging meal I should make. Have I ever made Beef Wellington? Yes, but one time in culinary school. But to help me is the great recipe from, of course, here at My Recipes. We will link that recipe below, so hopefully you can try this at home. Beef Wellington is beef tenderloin that has a mushroom filling with puff pastry. It's kind of like a party in your mouth. This does bring me to my first tip. Make the dinner extraordinary. Do something that you might not get at a restaurant because it's too expensive. Look at that. If kids are involved, you may or may not want to spend this much money on your main entree. We definitely don't do this often, but my kids will appreciate a good piece of steak. To the oven we go. So now while the beef gets cooking, I'm going to make the mushroom filling known as the duck cell. Duck cells, duck cell. Something like that. So what other recipes would you like to see me make? Send them my way. We read comments and I love to answer them every chance I get. Just be nice. Another great thing about this beef wellington is that you can do all the hard part in advance. You can get it ready to go in the oven and then just pop it in right before your guests arrive or before your fancy dinner begins. That brings me to another tip I'm just realizing, and that is to prep ahead. This experience is for you too, not just the rest of your family. So be sure to create a menu and a game plan that gets things prepared ahead of time so that you're not cooking the whole time, but you can feel like you're being treated as well. I told you I used to go to culinary school. With this Beef Wellington, we are going to serve store-bought mashed potatoes and salad in a bag. I've also got some asparagus I might roast if I have time. Um, so trying to keep with that little steakhouse feel. Um, but I am gonna take some shortcuts. Don't judge me, you don't have to, but a big part of my plan is to keep the kitchen as clean as possible. We are going to do dessert. We are going to have brownie a la mode because it sounds fancy, but it's box brownies made by my daughter with a scoop of ice cream. That might sound good though, yeah. At this point, all we do is let this mushroom mixture cool completely. When my beef is at 130, I'm gonna pull that out, let it cool completely. I'm going to refrigerate it for an hour and then we'll bring it all together and it'll be ready to bake for the dinner party. The next step, next tip is to set the table, set the ambiance. Make it fancy, y'all. Because currently, this dining room table is used as a home office space, also a landing spot for laundry. This is also the perfect time to get it clean. I thought it would be fun to have a little learning experience here. We're going to properly set the table. Um, I'm pretty sure none of my children know how to properly set a table. So I am enlisting the help of my teenager, Marley Rose. This is gonna be your job today. You are going to properly set the table. Oh wait, you know, I told you we were going big. We're gonna break out the wedding china. Do you know I've been married for 16 years and I have never once even used a piece of my wedding china. So, are you ready? Do you know how to properly set a table? That's what Google's for. That's exactly right. So you go do your little research. I don't think I even own a proper white tablecloth. We might need to call and borrow one. Okay. Do we have any like towels that are not paper towels? <laughs> and by towels, I'm thinking you mean napkins. Yeah. Because <laughs> we use paper towels as napkins. Um, I think I might have to borrow some cloth napkins as well. Hashtag not fancy around here. 
All right, we'll borrow some tablecloths, some napkins, and we're gonna make this a fancy restaurant. Does your teenager know how to properly set a table? I bet, I bet not. And if so, I'm impressed. I just thought of another tip that is involve the whole family. This whole experience is going to be enjoyed by the whole family more if they are a part of it from the beginning. So Stella has, like I said, made the dessert already. So she is in charge of preparing the dessert and you will also be the beverage waitress. She purchased her own bottle of kid wine. Don't judge me. And your job is going to be the salad waiter and the dessert waiter. Deal? Okay. And y'all gotta get dressed up. I already picked that out. I already picked it out. And get yourself dressed up. Make yourself feel like you're going out even though you're not going anywhere. Time to get fancy. <laughs> My aunt just brought the white tablecloth. I know you've just done a lot of work, but this is gonna look fancier. And also, these glasses haven't been used in years. Guess I'm gonna have to do dishes after all. Okay, to finish the beef wellington, we are going to dust our surface with flour. You do wanna do this before you go and put on your fancy dress. Then we're using, of course, store-bought puff pastry. Brush the puff pastry with egg wash. As you can see, I have things completely prepped out and ready for service so that the rest of my kitchen can stay clean. I will be able to build my plates really easily and keep the chaos to a minimum. Now we're going to add our mushroom filling, set our Beef tenderloin in the middle, and now we're going to fold the pastry around. And then you want to tuck in your sides. The egg wash on the outside now acts as a bronzer. It's gonna give us the nice golden, pretty color. Okay, so we're gonna place this seam side down onto our baking sheet. It's like a little baby. I hope this turns out. I might cry if it doesn't. All right, we're going to bake this at 425 for another about 20 to 30 minutes and that gives us plenty of time to put the finishing touches on ourselves. Look at that beauty. Listen to that. That's the sound of crunchy, golden, flaky puff pastry, and the good stuff is right underneath. All right, we're gonna let this rest while we serve our first course. And don't forget, my final tip is have fun. We have to make the best out of any situation and it's all about making memories. Cheers to making memories. All right, y'all enjoy the first course. I'm gonna go get the main entrees ready. So far so good. My assembly line by myself is very easy to work. And now it's time for the moment of truth. Look at that. Dang, that's pretty perfect. The flaky crust, those savory mushrooms, and that perfectly cooked beef tenderloin. Now it's time to really enjoy our fancy dinner. Well, I must say that was pretty fun. However, I'm not looking forward to washing all the fine china. I think this is something that my kids are going to want to do every once in a while for a special treat, even when the restaurants open back up. So I'm glad we did it. I'm glad I got to experience it. And I'm really glad I made Beef Wellington for the second time in my life. So how do you think I did? Have you done the restaurant experience at home? If you have, send me some pictures. I'd love to see them. and possibly share them with the rest of you. And if you want that great beef wellington recipe, be sure that you're following my recipes on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. For now, I'm clocking out.